Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleak channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is going to be a short little review on the TP-Link AC1300 wireless USB adapter. So you can take any computer and give it internet access by plugging this thing into a USB port. Works on any system, super quick, super easy to use. So let's get to the video, let's check it out. Alright, so first off, this works on Mac computers and it works on Windows computers. So any machine, you just take this thing, plug it in, and off you go. No drivers required. So this is what they call a dual band USB adapter. So it runs on the 5 gigahertz frequency or the 2.4 gigahertz frequency. And you can move it from machine to machine. You can use it on any computer in your house. Currently, the TP-Link adapter is running $19.99 on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description where you can go find it right now. So check that out. Also be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Okay, it's time we unbox this. TP-Link comes with a two year warranty for Windows. It comes with a little disc. That's our part right there that we're after. Little instructions. That is everything in the box. All right, you'll notice right here we have no network connection. So let's go ahead and uh, let's plug this in now that the computer's on. And like I said before, make sure that this is plugged into your USB 3.0 tab. That is your blue USB tab right there. So you can utilize the full benefit of your TP-Link dongle. I just want to see if it's going to automatically pull up a driver or if we have to use the disk that they sent with us and install a driver. All right, so as soon as I plug that in, it actually came up with the option for a wireless network, which is really cool. So look at that. We have your regular network and we have your five network. All right, so we are officially connected out to the internet. There it is. It's all pulling up right there. We've got a connection to the uh, 5 gigahertz network. The 2.4 gigahertz is showing up as well. Go ahead and do a speed test and see what we end up with. Okay, so we're connected with our TP-Link AC1300. We're going to run a quick speed test here. See what we got. Okay, download speed is 118 megabits per second download and 54 megabits per second upload speed. Latency is 22 milliseconds. Looks like everything is working as we'd hoped. So for the price, it's definitely uh, solving some problems here that we had in this office where there is no uh, LAN connection. Under your device manager, this will just show up as TP-Link wireless USB adapter. So with this TP-Link, you should be able to handle a video conferencing. You should be able to handle multiple video streaming, plenty of gaming, and whatever else you need to do with this. So it should be able to push all that through. All right, so I've got two videos playing right now. I've got uh, Diablo Immortal downloading at the moment onto this computer, and it's all running through the uh, TP-Link AC1300 wireless dongle. So really not too bad. And it is pulling down 15 megabits per second on the Diablo download right there. 16 megabits per second almost. So really not too bad. All right, time to go over the strong points of the TP-Link USB wireless adapter starting right now. All right, strong point number one is the small size. This little tiny USB dongle, you can take it with you wherever you go. Strong point number two, USB 3.0 compatible. It means a lot faster transfer speeds. Strong point number three, it's dual band. You've got the five gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz speeds on this. Strong point number four, this is widely compatible for both Apple computers and for Windows computers, and it's just plug and play. Plug it in and off you go. All right, let's go over the drawbacks of the TP-Link USB wireless adapter starting right now. 
Drawback number one was also a strong point is it's so small that when you're traveling or you're using somebody else's computer, it's super easy to forget and leave behind because you just plug that little dongle into the side of a laptop or a computer and you take off and you're like, oh, I left my adapter. Drawback number two, its advertised speed is up to 867 megabits per second. Wasn't seeing anything near that, so I'm just not sure on the advertised speeds on this. That's connected to the 5 gigahertz network. So um, I also saw some complaints. Uh, some people that had bought this saying it wasn't anywhere near the advertised speed. That I was not able to confirm. All right, so in conclusion, the TP-Link wireless network adapter is totally worth the price. So for any drawbacks that I might have mentioned, the benefits really outweigh those. So this thing is a good price. It's really easy to set up. It solves a major issue. If you have a room that didn't get wired up or a laptop or portable device, this thing will solve that issue. So I give it two thumbs up. I would recommend this device. Go out and pick it up if you have any of those issues going on there. Uh, it's a great little wireless adapter. It's small, it's portable, it's really easy to set up, and it's compatible. So hopefully you found this video really helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you think of the TP-Link wireless adapter as well. There is a link in the description where you can find it. Please be sure and like and subscribe to my channel. Check out these other videos I've got going on, and I'll catch you guys later.